name is Jasmine and I am the creator behind the brand Digital Collectives. In this video, we're going to go over the process of downloading and using your 2023 Good Life Planner. The Good Life Planner is an all-in-one hyperlinked landscape planner with a realistic feel to it. It has everything you need to start digital planning and stay productive in 2023. Once you have your digital planner, you also get access to the Good Life Planner Club, which has thousands of widgets, stickers, and more to help you customize and stay productive in a way that fits your needs. The Good Life Planner is currently available in three different color themes, neutral, pink, and pastel. With each planner, you'll get access to a Monday and Sunday start version. To use your Good Life Planner, you'll need a PDF annotation app. There are many out there. My personal recommendation is the Good Notes 5 app. We'll be using the GoodNotes 5 app in this tutorial. Once you've made your purchase on my Etsy shop and you've downloaded your files, you can then open your GoodNotes app to import the planner. You can do this by clicking on the plus sign and scrolling down to where it says import. Then you'll have a pop-up and you'll look for your saved file on your device. This will look different depending on your download settings. Once you've found your files, you click on open and it'll automatically start importing your planner. In this video, I'll be using the Monday start to demonstrate because that's my personal preference, but you'll have both options of a Monday and Sunday start. In the Good Life Planner, you'll have two cover page options, which you can change more cover options will be available soon in the good life planner club there you'll be able to download it and insert it into your planner in order to switch the cover you can click on the four square icon on the upper left hand corner then long press on the page you want as your cover and drag it over to the first space The first page of the planner will be your welcome page. Make sure to write down your name because that'll bring you good luck for 2023. The next page will be the instructions page. You don't want to skip out on this page. Make sure you read everything that you can find here because there's really good information. I'm going to explain it in this video anyways, but in case you ever need to reference something quickly again, you have this page available to you. So this planner has quick links and each binder ring will send you to a specific page. The first ring will send you to the index page, second ring will send you to the dashboard, the third ring will send you to the widgets information, and the fourth binder ring will send you to the instructions, and the bottom two will send you to either my website or my Etsy shop where you can contact me in case you have any questions. So now that we know what the Good Life Planner Club is all about, I'm going to show you how exactly you get access to this exclusive club only for Good Life Planner users. The first thing you'll want to do is either visit digitalcollectives.co and click on Good Life Planner Club or you can click the hyperlink within your planner and it'll automatically take you to the correct sign up site. So this is the page that you should see when you're entering the Good Life Planner Club. First thing you'll have to do is sign up for the club. You'll enter your name, your email, and your password. And most importantly, you have to enter your Etsy order number so that I can make sure that you are a Good Life Planner user. Remember, this club is exclusive to Good Life Planner users. Once you've made an account, you'll be granted membership into this club within 24 hours. Once your membership has been granted, you can go ahead and log in with your credentials and you'll have access to the entire library of digital templates, widgets, stickers, and more. There's over a thousand different digital items that you can download from this library. All the widgets and stickers and templates are available in two formats, PNG files and GoodNotes sticker books. In order to download the widget files, you can simply click on either the PNG or GoodNotes file 
depending on your preference. I personally love using the GoodNotes file because it is so organized and it makes planning even easier than having to scroll through a lot of PNG files. Once your download is finished, go ahead and click on it. It's going to redirect you to your iPad's download page. And what you downloaded is a zip file, so you have to click on it once to unzip it. Then click on the second file that appeared. And this is the file you'll be able to share onto your GoodNotes app. Click on the share button on the upper right hand corner, open in GoodNotes, and then you can import it as a new document. Now you can repeat the same process for the daily widgets, weekly widgets, monthly widgets, and all the different templates that are available. And as you can see on the sticker book, it is all organized and ready to copy and paste right into your planner. Alternatively, you can download the individual PNG files. It's pretty much the same process where you download the file, you unzip it, and then you'll get a folder with all the individual PNG files. This method, you can then use the split view feature on the iPad and you will be able to drag and drop the widgets right into your planner. So now that we've gone through the Good Life Planner Club information, let's move on to the features that you can find directly in your Good Life Planner. Like I mentioned before, you can find the quick links directly on the binder rings. The Good Life Planner is a very well thought out planner. You'll have access to 12 calendars, a custom page for every calendar, a monthly overview, finance page. Every week you'll have two layouts plus a weekly custom page and you'll have access to a daily planning page and it's all hyperlinked for easy access. So all the tabs on the planner are clickable. They're all hyperlinked. On the right side, we have all the monthly tabs. On the top right, we have the general 2023 templates. On the top left side, we have the index dashboard and widgets page. On the left side, we have our interactive dynamic tabs, which I'll get more into detail later. On the bottom half, we have all the notebook sections. On the bottom, we have all the links to the dashboards in every single category. So let's start with our general 2023 tabs. You'll have access to a 2023 calendar. Everything on this page is hyperlinked. The month, the weeks, and the days are hyperlinked. So you'll have access to the whole year in one page. So let's continue with the rest of the 2023 general tabs. Here we have quick notes. This is where you can dot down any last minute thoughts. We have a master to-do list so you can keep track of your year in general. We have a quarterly to-do list in case you want to break things down further. And we have a 2023 key date so you can write down any special dates that you need to remember. Another great feature about this planner is the interactive dynamic tabs that you can find on the top left side. Here you'll have tabs that switch depending on what kind of template you are on. So on any general template page or yearly page, you're going to have access to the calendar, the finances, reset, and reflection for that year. One of my favorite pages on this planner is the 2023 reset because you can really set your goals for the year and then at the end of the year, you can come back and reflect, which is amazing. On the monthly calendars, you'll have access to every weekly plan and every weekly schedule. The top half will be the plan and the bottom half will link to the schedule. Every monthly calendar also links to every single daily page within that month. The monthly interactive tabs will include access to the calendar, overview, finance page, and a custom monthly page. Every month will come with its own custom monthly page and I'll show you why it's such a cool feature. Since you have access to the Good Life Planner Club, you'll be able to add any of your templates into the custom page. Once you've downloaded the extra templates GoodNotes file, you can scroll through and find the perfect template for your needs. For example, I will be showing you how to insert a monthly habit tracker into your monthly custom page. First, find the template that you want to add to your custom page. Click on the lasso tool, circle it, click copy, go back to your planner, and long press and paste it 
right into your custom page. There's no need to resize it, it's all been done for you. This is such a cool feature because you can really customize this planner to your heart's desire. Now let's go back into the planner and explore the weekly page. Every weekly page will have a mini calendar where you'll be able to access all the days within that month as well as all the weeks. On each daily page, you'll also have access to the mini calendar. Now let's go through the interactive tabs that you can find within the weekly pages. You'll have hyperlinks to the calendar for that month, the weekly plan, the schedule, and a weekly custom page. Similarly to the monthly custom page, you'll have a custom page for every week. This page is perfect for adding weekly habit trackers, weekly self-care trackers, reflections, and so much more. Now let's take a look at the daily planning pages. On the daily pages, you'll have space to plan out your daily schedule, your personal to-do list, work to-do list. You'll have a space to write down your meals and keep track of your wellness. If this layout doesn't work for you, you'll always have access to the daily widgets in the Good Life Planner Club. This makes it so easy to customize your day. There's so many different widgets that you can use and combine to make your own personal daily spread with everything that you need. Absolute favorite feature of this widget collection is that the designs are compatible specifically with the Good Life Planner. So it matches and it creates such a seamless planning experience. Now I'm going to show you exactly how you can customize your daily spread if there's something you want to cover to add new widgets. First click on the lasso tool and circle any white space that you can see. Click take screenshot and then click the share button and copy it. Then you can long press and paste it and resize the white image until you've got everything covered. You can then find any of the daily widgets that you want to add. Use the lasso tool to copy and paste it and it fits perfectly right into your daily spread. Now let's go through the dashboards and all the extra templates that are inside of your planner. You'll have a dashboard for trackers, productivity, finance, projects, reflection, self-care, wellness, and lifestyle. All of these dashboards will have hyperlinks to each template within that category. Under the trackers dashboard, you'll have links to all of the tracker templates. To add one of the templates to another section of your planner, you can click on the three dots on the upper right hand corner and click copy page. Then you can go to the correct page where you want to add it, click on the plus icon and make sure that it says after and you can click a paste page and then you'll have that template right after the monthly calendar. So let's go back to the trackers dashboard. Let's go through all the templates that you'll have. You'll have a yearly habits, habit tracker, year in pixels, mood tracker, reading tracker. And I really love the reading tracker because you can keep track of all the books that you're reading throughout the year and all the books that you want to read. In the productivity dashboard, you'll have access to quick notes, master to-do list, goals, routines, basically any kind of template that's gonna help you get things done quickly and efficiently. In the self-care dashboard, you'll have templates to keep track of your affirmations, your vision board, your memories, and so much more. I really love this vision board template because it categorizes different aspects of life, so you can really set your vision for each part of your life. Here I'm showing you one of my personal spreads, and it's just so much fun to pick out photos and add them to this vision board. Next, we'll take a look at the wellness dashboard. We'll have a workout planner, weekly exercise planner, sleep tracker, pretty much anything that'll have to do with your health, you'll find under the wellness dashboard. In the lifestyle dashboard, you'll find templates such as cleaning planner, entertainment list, reading list, book reviews, anything that has to do with your lifestyle. So that about sums it up. And now you know everything about the 2023 Good Life Planner collection. If you're interested in purchasing the Good Life Planner and becoming a Good Life Planner member, you can find the link in the description below. 
If you have any other questions or if there's anything else you want to see, please comment down below and I would love to hear some feedback. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video.